And hello YouTube, this is JS Man Smart, and I'm today with another brand new video for tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're gonna taking a look at a GIMP and how to create sparkles and how to create your own custom brushes within GIMP. So right here, I just have a random picture of uh, glass with uh, Coke being poured into it. Uh, this is how much sugar you're drinking if you're drinking Coke. That is what the image is supposed to depict. But aside from the point here, what we're going to do is go up to the windows and we have to create our brush first. So essentially what we're going to be doing is creating a sparkle brush. Since uh, you want to create your own sparkle brush so you can use it whenever you want, uh, we need to create our brush first because if we just created a sparkle right now, we can only use it now. But if you want to always use it whenever you feel like, then it's best just to create a brush so you can always use it. And you could do this with uh, pretty much any type of brush you want to create. So go up to windows and go to dockable dialogues and then go to brushes, which is right here. And your brushes panel should pop up. Mine's popping up here at the bottom. Essentially though, wherever yours pops up, mine's pops here at the bottom up. Uh, make sure you click at the bottom here. Uh, not edit this brush, but create a new brush. And it basically gives you these options right here. Now if you want, you can name your brush and we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna name it Sparkle. Actually, we're gonna name it Custom sparkle like so now for your shape here you want to go ahead and use the third option here which gives us a nice um, star looking shape here now for the first one your radius is how big it's gonna be we're gonna pick around 75 like that and for your second option we could probably select like something like four um, for hardness relatively low value maybe 0.1 Maybe 0 0.09. Yeah, 0 0.1 is fine. Aspect ratio, maybe a 1.5. Your angle, this will basically be at what angle you want to have it at. We can have an, no, a little bit over 90 degrees. So maybe like a 105. Yeah, like that. And your spacing doesn't really matter because we're only going to be applying one sparkle at a time. So you can just uh, forget about this last option. And that's basically how you create... Uh, your own brush here and you'll see at the bottom here here is our brush that we have just created now here's our custom our custom glitter our custom sparkle whatever you want to call it glitter sparkle and uh, you can do this with many other ways if you want to create different brushes through this little dialog box you can definitely do that and you can create all types of unique ones if you want to do that so nice way to experiment around and create your own brushes very easily uh, because there are other ways to create brushes that are a bit more complicated but this is very easy to do Let's go ahead and go back to our layers panel, which is right here. Let's go ahead and create a new layer, a new transparent layer, and press OK. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our brush tool over here. And as you see, our custom sparkle is part of the list now. And what you can then do is we obviously want to get, as you see right now, it's black. We obviously want to get it to white. So change our foreground to white here. And you see how we had a small sparkle there? Uh, what you can do. I believe GIMP has the same shortcut as Photoshop, yeah. If you press the uh, right bracket on your keyboard, you can get a bigger sparkle. So you can hold down the right bracket to make it bigger. You can hold down the left bracket to make it smaller like that. It's a nice, easy way to increase brush sizes. But as you can see, you want to find uh, typically bright areas or areas with highlights, bright highlights or bright areas. You can add a sparkle like that and maybe want to add one here like that uh, perhaps we want to add one here maybe uh, that one looks a bit weird maybe right there uh, that one looks a bit weird too maybe we can add one right here there we go uh, one technique you also want to do is you want to get different sizes of the sparkle because if you get the same sizes it will look kind of weird and look kind of artificial so we can get a big one here and we, maybe we can get a smaller one here like that and uh, you can just experiment around really it's all up to experimentation here if you want to add text with a glitter you can do that as well maybe like right there let's go ahead and add some text in here let's get a red sort of like uh, like that type of red right there and let's just type in here Coke, obviously make this uh, font a bit bigger. Let's try 75. 
no, let's try let's try a hundred. It's a fairly small word. I guess a little better, but I don't like this font, so let's oh come on, there we go. Let's pick a different font and then we'll add some we'll add some sparkles to our font as well. And I'll show you another cool tip, another cool uh, trick you can do with sparkles as well using layer modes. Uh, what type of what type of font do we want? I saw some good ones, but I want to have a bulky one, sort of. I guess it doesn't really matter because I just want to show you. Let's just use this. Let's use this for now. So maybe 150. Yeah, like that. That's fine. And let's just get a black border around that. Let's grow it by three. That's fine. And let's get a transparent layer here. Uh, no, no gradient paint bucket tool. There we go. Could be a bit bigger, but meh, it's okay. So you can even add a uh, little... Make sure you're always working on your uh, your uh, sparkle layer here. Uh, this is our sparkle layer here. And you may want to drag this to the very top. So here you can even add... Well, make, you got to make sure it's white, obviously. Here you can add uh, sparkles also. Maybe... You see, see how it looks kind of weird if it's like dark, if darker, darker um, areas make it look kind of weird. So maybe if you want to make this, this background here white even, maybe that'd be a bit better. It just looks, it just looks better if you have a bright background or a white highlight when you're using the brush tool because it tends to fit in better. Got to bring this, got to bring it over here. It tends to fit in a little better like so maybe we can add one here maybe we can add one up here a smaller one like so but you see looks pretty cool now another, tr another trick you can do with these sparkles is we can duplicate our sparkle layer which is this one right here we can uh, duplicate this and then this duplicate we can go ahead and change the layer mode here to soft I believe it's soft light. Is it soft light? I think it's soft light. Yeah, if you press soft light for this layer mode and uh, you keep the original normal, you can go and drag your soft light layer mode underneath your original and you'll see that the difference here, it's a bit more shining, it makes it look a, li a bit better. So you can do it if you like. Just make sure your soft light layer is underneath the original, the normal layer. And that's kind of how you do it. So if you take a look, this is our original. This is our edited. Looks a bit cool with the sparkles. Obviously, you could find much better ways to do this, much better examples. This is just a random picture I chose just to show off how to create your own brushes and how to add sparkles to any type of text or to any type of uh, picture you want or any type of object. So hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, got stuck on anything, um, just leave it in the comment section down below. I'll definitely down there answer any questions you have. And if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, if you enjoyed all my other videos on GIMP or on Audacity or other editing softwares, lots of cool stuff on the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, go and subscribe. Plenty of software tutorials with different programs. But if you enjoyed any of that, you can always donate a dollar to my Patreon page. All you gotta do is click the top right corner. The card is there. Once you click that, it'll bring you to the page. I also have a vlogging channel, a gaming channel, a music channel, and a device channel. If you want to check any of that out, links in the description as well as on the end card. And with that, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always, and this is GSMAO Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.